Hi everyone, my name is Travis Fry. I'm a territory sales rep with AGI here in Saskatchewan. I'm here with the Flamins guys to talk about our Hutchinson Double Run Portable Grain Pumps. talk about the ease of handling on your grain that this unit has. You can use this for a wide variety, it's rated for all commodities and since it's a more of a conveying effect versus a metal flighting augering effect, this is very very gentle on your grain. So you'll have less damage than you would with an auger but maybe not as gentle as your conveyor would typically be. When we start at the bottom end of this unit, we can see that it is made up of high quality UHMW plastic paddles. These are really important in the fact of the longevity of this unit and how it runs. So you can think of this as the uh, clean grain elevator in your combine. Everybody's used to those, everybody's had them forever. So that's the general concept of how this works and the very low maintenance that these things require. You know, make sure that you keep your chain running straight, that you've got it tensioned properly, and these things will just run and run and run. So with these units, right here we're looking at our 8-inch model. We can also get this up to a 10-inch model, or if you're looking for something even bigger, we can do a 12-inch up to 130 feet long. Now these ones here, the 8-inch will do 4,000 bushels an hour, while the 10-inch is rated for 6,000 bushel. We can get these in lengths of 42 feet, 52, 62, 72, and 82 is the longest that we make in the 8 and the 10 inch models. So moving up to the motor options, these are the electric motor kit that you can see on here. We can also get a PTO drive if that's what you are needing on these. When we go to the hand winches on here, we have a few different winch styles. On this one right now, we currently have mounted the hand winch. We can also go with a hydraulic winch or a electric winch, depending on what your needs are at your site. When we move up the unit and go towards the uh, discharge at the end there, we also have uh, different options there. So depending on what angle you plan on running this at, you might want to change your uh, discharge spout. So we have a 45, a 60 or a 90 degree option and again that's going to depend on what angle you'll be running the unit at. You might want to change that so that you have better grain flow or you might need your grain to flow a certain way to whether it's going into the dryer or into the, your bin. So right now we don't currently have the art kit installed on here but Hutchison makes a really nice four wheel mover kit for these. So all you need to do is you take your tire off, install your new frame onto the hub and then you have two tires on there. And the nice thing about this one is, is that you don't have to remove it if you want to pull your unit around the yard. All you need to do is pull a couple pins, move your tires back so they're running parallel, put the pins back in, and now you have the option to move the unit around your yard. Keep in mind, it is not made for high speed transport. So if you're going to be going down the highway, make sure you take off the car kit and put your tires back on. If we come back down to the unit at the bottom, in the boot and the head, we have the two main drive sprockets. The nice thing about these is that they're a two-piece sprocket, so if you ever need to do any maintenance or change them out, it's very easy to access them and do any sort of that maintenance that you may require on them. And as you'll see here on the electric kits for these, that Hutchison uses a triple grooved belt. So this helps for extra grip and so that you don't get slippage while the unit's running and moving your grain up into, again, either your bins or your dryer or whatever use that you have for this unit. So I just want to take a couple seconds and talk about the horsepower requirements with these Hutchison units. They do require less horsepower than your augers will and most air systems. Um, but also you got to pay attention to the angle that it's going to be ran at. So depending on the angle that you'll be using it at, that will also change how much horsepower these require. 
The nice thing about them is that on the stationary models, you can actually run these up to 60 degrees of use, while most of the time these will be ran anywhere between 30 and 35 degrees, just based on the limitations of the unit and the frame itself.